Hey everyone, in this Elden Ring How to Summon Spirits video, I'm going to show you this system so you understand how it works. So at the start of the game, you cannot summon Spirit Ashes, uh, but you can a little bit later. Basically, what you need to do is, I'll just show you on the map, uh, you'll go through the starting area at the first step, talk to White Mask Vare there, and he will point you on your way. So I say go this way, you find the Church of Ali, you talk to Merchant Kali, and then work your way up here to Gatefront Ruins, rest at this site of grace here and you will talk to millennia um, and once you've talked to her you can go back to gatefront ruins uh, sorry not gatefront ruins but back to the church of ella rest until night time and then you will see Arani sitting on the wall i'll probably cut to that just to show you and uh, once you've talked to her you'll get access to the spirit ashes once you've done that uh, pause uh, or rather bring up your equipment side of things here and go to equipment and then you need to assign it to one of these slots down here so you have quick access to it. So I'll show you here if I selected that one, and there they are there. So this will summon three lone wolf spirits. So these are lone wolf ashes, which is what Rani gives you. As you progress through the game, you will unlock other ashes as well, and you can use those in, instead. But there's a couple of things to point out here. Uh, if you can't summon them, there's a couple of things that are important. So first of all is the FP cost. So you can see the FP cost here is 55. And on the right-hand side, my FP that I have a total of is 88. So I do have enough to summon them. Uh, so long as that bar is full, and at the minute it currently is. That bar you can see up the top left of your interface normally, it's the blue bar. So if it's still greyed out when you see it in the inventory down the bottom, first of all you press down on your D-pad to go through those uh, items that you've equipped there in those slots. So find the lone wolf ashes, I keep going past it because I can't see it. <laughs> the lone wolf ashes there, and you can only use them in certain regions. Now when they are able to be used, what you'll see is they will start glowing white. So as we come here, now I can use them and there's that little sort of gate sign above Storm Stomp on the left hand side, which hints that I can use them here. So we will uh, now use them. So I press X on the Xbox controller, so or whatever button it uses to access those ones for you. That'll be square on the PlayStation. And there we go, we have summoned spirits. Um, so our lone wolves are here, ready to help us out in battle. So let's go and have a little battle with someone and you can see what a difference that they make uh, they are pretty awesome they're so good <laughs> i didn't even use them but there you go you'll see that they will happily take that enemy out for me and also work on any other enemies that come forwards uh, so this certainly helps even the battlefield often uh, so we can go in and take out everyone as well uh, and it also takes the aggro off of your main character so they are very very useful uh, particularly early on in the game when you're not very powerful. So there we go, we've taken everyone out. Um, a couple of things to point out with the Lone Wolf Ashes. So that's, if I press X again, um, it'll say, do you want to send them back to the beyond? And I'll say no for the minute because I want them still here. Uh, they can, of course, get damaged. And you can see above where it says Storm Stomp, I'm seeing their uh, current HP levels. So you can see they have been damaged a little bit and that will continue the more they uh, go and fight other uh, sort of enemies for you so we can see there they've fought there but they are pretty pretty reasonable um, you can also upgrade them over time if you get hold of the uh, spirit tuner which I show in a separate video how to upgrade spirits uh, spirit ashes um, so you can have a little look at that but if we want to unsummon them I can do that now just by hitting that X button and say yes or if I run out of the region where we are allowed to use them anymore you'll see they will disappear so here they flash away and they are now gone. Now, I cannot use them again because you can see it's grayed out, um, but that also means I don't have enough of the blue bar, um, so I need to find a site of grace and rest to get that back or use a cerulean tears to get them back. Um, but hopefully that helped you out. If it did, thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you need more help with the game, let me know with what. We'll have a little look at the tutorials that are under here. Cheers.